Welcome back to an ep <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of cooking with your host, Chef Federico. Alright, so this afternoon, cooking for the team. Got some garlic bread and making some prawn carbonara. So first we get the garlic butter and like put it in put in one of these. I don't put it all in actually. Put it all in, we'll put it on the fire. I'll be back. Right, I'm back. So we'll get the bread. Uh, you get like this much. You know, you don't want the smaller ones, you know. People get hungry, like me, so. You know, you want enough for everyone. And like, cut it up in like, some decent sizes. Like that, maybe fourths. About this big, each size. And cut them in half. Put the garlic, so I've got like, this garlic, I recommend using the chunky one. Then use the back of the spoon to spread it, you know. Just pour it on, you know, because it's easier to spread when you use the back of the spoon. So you do that to every single one of them. Uh, it's called garlic butter for a reason, because you've got to taste the garlic, so. So oh, this is the entree, so use as much garlic as you want, honestly. Go ham, use the whole jar. If you like the garlic, use it all. All right, so got the bread laid back out on the table. I'll go check the garlic. Anyways, so we've got our melted garlic butter. Go on our garlic bread. Look, because it's in a kettle, you just pour it on. Just a little bit each one. Like, you know, don't go too hand with it, you know. So put the bread on. Um, I don't know how this is gonna work, eh? But just do like three slices per thing. Got some cheese, shredded cheese here, done by Poppy Greg, you know. Put as much as you want, or as just as little as you want, you know. We'll get another one of these. So I really don't know how this is gonna work out. Yeah, but... Maybe do this, like, uh, like curl the edges. Uh, uh, like, but before we go further, we gotta put the beak. So I've got one. Got it. Right, uh, one's done. Put them on the fire. Start it off with. We we'll get some smoked speck pork. Get this from Audi or Woolies or Coles. Honestly, any single one of them would be fine. You don't want this top skin on it, because I've done it before, and it doesn't taste that good, eh? So, cut it off. So, like, cut these in, like, maybe about that thick. Cut it as thick as you want, honestly. Cut the whole lot up, I'm probably going to use it all, eh? Because you just got to remember, once you start cooking it, it's going to, like, render down with all the fat and stuff. So, we've got Frankie. He's, um, lent us his cooker cook with. It's electric start. Just let you know. See that. One press. One light. Heat her up. Probably put some oil in there. So we'll just chop this stuff into slices like this. Like this. Right, after that have a drink. And slice the onion up and then dice it up. Put, put the onion in. So you put that in and your garlic from the garlic bread. Like, I don't know, that much. I forgot to put the um, fish shallots in. So I just like put some shallots in there. Right, chop it up. Put that in with the onion and garlic. And there we go. Give her a stir. I've got um, a, 
camp oven already on the fire for the pasta. Put the water. Why wait, have no drink. So wait till this like um I don't know what you call it, but until it looks like cooked. Wait till the onion is al dente. Pepper. Add some salt. Not too much because we're about to put we're gonna put some parmesan in it, which is gonna make it real salty. Righto. Let's uh, get al dente. We gotta check the garlic bread. And it needs a bit more time on the fire. So I've been told that it's not al dente, it's caramelized. At this point in time, I've got some mushrooms. I open her up and just dump her in there, you know? So I open up a new can. That's it. And put your, your pork in or your bacon or whatever you want to use. So let that cook up for a little bit. We've got the prawns too, to put in. While we're waiting, we'll get the pasta and the water is already on the fire. So, we'll put the pasta on the water. So I've got some pecorino and some parmesan and I cut it up as great as I could get it. You know, it's thin. It's really not the way it's meant to be, but. So you get some, um, we've got some eggs. Get some eggs and crack um, three full eggs into the mix. And then we've got three yolks. Make sure you keep the yolks because we want the yolks. Give it a mix. Like it's probably not the best, but we'll make it work without the grater anyway. So just add some pepper, cracked pepper. And another drink. If you want some garlic powder in there. Onion powder. Don't put any salt because the parmesan's pretty salty. Alright, so after you've fed the clan their garlic bread, come back to you. Your bacon or your pork and onion and mushroom mix, and it looks pretty good. And we're gonna put a bit of um, we're gonna put some prawns in it, you know. Now another drink. Right, uh, so I've checked the pasta, and we're gonna drain it, and we'll put it into the mix. So you get it off and forget your strainer. But we got our friend Luke that hasn't forgotten his strainer which will strain our pasta water. Before you strain it, make sure you cup, keep a cup of the pasta water to mix in with the cheese and the egg and the sauce. All right, so after you drain the pasta, don't touch it by your hand, because it's hot, and pour it in. Pull that in, so mix that in with the bacon, prawns and the mushrooms and the onion and whatever else I put in there. So turn the heat back on with that electric starter. We'll turn on that off. Turn it right down. So yeah, like as low as possible because you don't need to cook it anymore. You just want the heat there and just mix it around. And you get your, your cheese and egg and cracked pepper. Pour that in, mix it around. And then from the pasta water you've saved, put in like half of the cup. And it's done. Thank you very much for watching Cooking with Chef Fred.